What's up, everybody? Josh Real here at San Diego Comic Con with Ryan Penagos, the Keeper of Secrets at Marvel. I like that. That's better than my title of Executive Editorial Director of Digital Media. Yes, yes. Uh, and the Taco Man. What's explain the Taco before we get into this? I love tacos. Uh, okay. And so, actually, one of our comic book editors, Katie Kubert, uh, she does you know like knitting and needlepoint or whatever this is to make this little taco. Uh -huh. So I gave her a bunch of uh, handkerchiefs, and she's got a taco one for me, a pizza one, oh, a wow. Godzilla. Uh, a uh, dog, a cat, a dragon, <laughs> I think a MODOK. Just everything that's awesome. Things that I love. <laughs> okay, yeah. very cool. Okay, Taco Man, I've got some questions for you. Hit me. Uh, so, you're here at Marvel. Uh, sorry, sorry, you're here at San Diego Comic Con, you know, showing all Marvel stuff. Yes. Uh, and at the booth, you were telling me that there is some sort of Twitter vending machine? What is this? So, it's amazing. Uh, it's a Twitter activated vending machine. We have, it's two components to it. We have a, uh, the Ant Man suit from the movie that is there, not behind any plexiglass or anything. Like, you can get up close. We want to show people our cool costume. So you got the costume, take a selfie with it. You walk two feet over, then we have an actual vending machine. You can see it, it's got t-shirts in it, it's got uh, movie soundtracks, it's got comic books, all kinds of cool stuff. Then, a little screen on it that says, use hashtag Ant-Man SDCC and a unique hashtag for everyone who comes up. So I wouldn't be able to see it, you know, in the back of the line, only the person who's right in front, they use both those hashtags, throw up their selfie, and the machine will recognize that unique hashtag and then give them something from the machine. It's awesome. That is really cool. That's how you get your Marvel swag. Yeah. Take Ant-Man selfies. Uh, you know, speaking of Ant-Man, you know, going to this movie, I think a lot of people are like, Ant-Man, who's that guy? I mean, I know, I read the comics. I know he's, sure. I know how cool he is yeah, and everything. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so what's your pitch to people? You know, like, why should they check out Ant-Man? It's funny as hell. That's the first thing. Uh, it's really, really funny, but it's got a good emotional core, and it, you know, in, in a sense, it feels kind of like a phase one movie, and like that sense of like really cool, kind of like, you know, uh, rubber on the road, here we go, learning about a character, getting deep into, you know, what makes them tick, but also like that really good emotional core, because mm -hmm. you've got the, uh, the dynamic between Hank Pym and Scott Lang, the dynamic between Scott Lang and Hope uh, Van Dyne, the dynamic between Hope and Hank, and then there's all kinds of other stuff, and plus big crazy action. Very cool. Or big action, or is it little tiny? Little action? big action. Big little, little big, <laughs> big little, little big action. Uh, cool. I can't wait to see it. Awesome. Um, yeah, and also, obviously the Ant Man comic book is in yes. very good hands. Uh, Nick Spencer and uh, Ramon Rosanas. Yes, yes, great artist. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what's going on in the comic book to sort of tie in with the movie to get people who are excited and want more? You know, it, it's it's very much a, a tonal connection. It's not necessarily like, oh, you've seen the movie and here's exactly what the characters are going to be doing, which I think is important because. There's, they need to be separate. Some things work better on TV and comics and movies that, you know, it, it works, it translates, but I like that we can give someone a unique experience because the world of Marvel Comics is 75 years of history. So there's cool stuff. Uh, Ant-Man has his own security crew. Uh, like they, they work out of Miami. He's got a partner named Grizzly who's a dude in a bear suit. <laughs> yes. And it's really funny. They, they get into uh, hijinks. Yes, yes, very cool. Um, and you know, speaking of Marvel Comics, uh, last week we got our first look at the whole line of all new, yes. all different Marvel. Uh, some shockers in there, some surprises. What were you surprised um, about? Okay, first thing I was surprised about was that the new Extraordinary X-Men uh, title is 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 going to be uh, X Men versus Inhumans. Is that is that what I uh, understand? At least they're going to be butting heads. There there are some uh, issues bubbling up in the Marvel Comics universe, and uh, things may come to a head, or hopefully they'll get resolved. Okay, you don't have to read and see. Because there's the the fan conspiracy theory that like ooh you know Marvel wants uh, the, in, uh, the Inhumans to be the new X Men. So it's it almost seems like a very you know, direct way of addressing that. Is that what's going on there? I think it's just we have really cool characters on both sides and we're finally able to explore what makes the Inhumans so cool. And everybody loves the X-Men. You know, like Cable, Deadpool, yeah. you know, Nightcrawler, Beast, those are some of my favorite characters. So being able to mix all this and like get people excited and get people talking mm -hmm. is what we do. It's great. Okay, and the one we're really talking about is Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew is pregnant. 
What? <laughs> so the thing is, last, since we last saw her, it's been, uh, is it 16 months? Uh, since the, uh, there's an eight jump month to Secret Wars, and then another eight month jump is when all new, all different Marvel starts. Is that right? Something like that, something, yeah. Okay, about yeah, that yeah. much time. So in that time frame, something happened. I'm assuming she maybe had a romance or a fling or and I that, don't know. Or, or knowing comics could be like an alien or a demon or something. Well, could, you know. We don't know what's in there. Sometimes a man and a woman come together and, and babies happen. Okay. You know, that I, does happen. Yeah. So we showed a really cool cover. Um, I I re I want to say more, but you know I am the keeper of secrets, so I have to keep those secrets. Okay. But uh, the story's gonna be really cool and a lot of facets, and I think it's something different that we don't really get have explored too much at Marvel. So that book is gonna be fantastic. Okay, cool, very cool. What uh, title are you most excited for? Oh gosh, um, Spider Man, which is you know Miles Morales. That is just gonna blow people away, blow people's minds. Um, all new, all different Avengers, probably. Just because I love that cast so much. And then you add the amazing creative team, Mark uh -huh. Wade, Mahmoud Asrar, Kubert. I mean, it's just like, wow. Yeah. Really, really all solid. Star. It's yeah. going to be super fun. Uh, so I think, you know, a little bit of all that. OK, very cool. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Marvel TV. Uh, uh, they just got some really big announcements for Daredevil season two. It's going to be uh, uh, Daredevil versus Punisher, and then we. Or, or, so it's been. It's been. I have not said, said that. So it's been said uh, in, in, in other interviews. Uh, I guess you're not confirming nor denying that. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, but also they just cast Elektra. Yes, Elodie Young, so great. Uh, I mean, I was like, I was checking out, you know, some of her fights on YouTube, things that she's done in other movies. She's amazing. Like, yeah. I am super excited for what is coming up with her, with John Bernthal as uh, Frank Castle. I mean, just wow. Yeah. Super cool. And I love how with the second you uh, Google, uh, I'm sorry, what's the Electra's actress name? Elodie Young. Elodie Young. The uh, second you Google her, she uh, comes up in that red outfit with swords from G.I.J. So I mean, <laughs> it's like perfect. <laughs> when, I, when I first found it, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> um, and in, in S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, in the next uh, season, uh, there's been a tease for Secret Warriors. Yes. What can you, uh, what, can, what secret can you tease well, for us for that? Well, it's too early for me to say too much because we do have a big panel here at Comic-Con. Okay. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I mean, season three is coming, and yes, Secret Warriors. That means a lot to a lot of comic book fans. Uh, a lot to me, a lot of like really cool possibilities that come out of that. And as we saw at the end of season two, uh, Coulson and Sky are... They've got some things in their head that they want to move forward on. Yeah, poor Colson. He lost his arm. Is is he gonna get a cool new arm? Uh, I hope so. I mean, <laughs> but like that's the thing. He's been through so much, yet he keeps moving on. That's what makes Phil Colson one of the best characters. Sure, sure. Um, also, you're wearing a, a cool shirt. Obviously, you have your jacket button there, but uh, it's a Marvel Future Fight, yeah. which is the mobile game, yes. right? Uh, yeah. So what, what do you have uh, going on with that? So Marvel Future Fight, super cool. It's on iOS. It's on Android. Uh, free to play, but like you know, tons and tons and tons of content. Uh, it is. I look at it like kind of a throwback love letter to sort of Streets of Rage type uh, beat 'em ups, but in 3D. So uh -huh. you know, you go through a level and you've got uh, a bunch of goons that you have to you know face. Sometimes it's Ultron robots. Sometimes it's Hydra. Sometimes you know it, it changes from level to level. You go through, there's Dimensional Rifts. Uh, Agent Simmons from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It made her way into the Marvel Gaming Universe. She's in Very the game. Cool. It's super cool, written by Peter David. Uh, and the cast of characters is, I think, something like 30 or 40 characters. So, like, my squad is MODOK, Captain Marvel, and Black Panther. Awesome. And they tear it up. <laughs> it's super cool. It's, it's a lot of fun. And you just have a new update for it, right? Uh, yeah. To tie into Ant Man? Yeah, we had that little movie Ant Man, and we just, we're like, you know what? Well, let's get Ant-Man in front of everybody. So we have so many games, you know, Marvel Future Fight, Marvel Contest of Champions, Avengers Alliance, Marvel Puzzle Quest, uh, Marvel Pinball, tons more. And we, we have a lot of really cool Ant-Man stuff coming to all of them. So for Future Fight, yeah, you're going to be able to play as Ant-Man, I believe Yellow Jacket as well. Cool, very cool. Uh, you know, uh, last question for you, man. Yes. Uh, you've got uh, a lot of stuff here at Comic-Con. Yeah. What are you personally most excited for? I'm excited for a good dinner. Because, okay. uh, you, you know, and I'm sure you get this, you're working really hard all day long and to sit down and enjoy a good meal with, you know, your coworkers or your friends who you don't get to see very often. That's the thing that makes me super happy. Uh, that and uh, Godzilla stuff. I love Godzilla. Godzilla so stuff? I, I got a uh, loot crate. They have a cool uh, crate here that I got and I got a, a Godzilla pizza cutter from... What? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. Is it like stylized, like a tail or the no, claws? No, it's his. Or? It's his face, and ah. there's like a pizza cutter on it. That's from Diamond Select Toys. Oh, very cool. Uh, so super neat. Very cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much for for being on the show. Uh, for all things uh, from Ryan, all the secrets uh, we could possibly get from him, keep it right here on IGN. <laughs>